Jason Newland and this is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. There may be a little bit of background sound because I've got the windows open. It's a little bit windy out there. That's why they call them windows. Something to do with the wind. So, just like to say thank you to all of you that regularly listen to this podcast. Thank you for allowing it to grow, or helping it to grow to. I think about 32,000 downloads since November. So that's really cool. And if you would like to help to finance this free service, then you can make a donation if you choose to uh, PayPal. Slash Jason Newland PayPal dot me that's M E forward slash Jason Newland. So I'm just going to whisper to you, and uh, ideally, before you go any further, make sure that you're comfortable. As you can hear, my squeaky chair in the background. As I get myself comfortable. Now, some of you, like myself, may have some physical issues, maybe a bit of chronic pain or some aches, or something like that. I myself have lower back pain, so sometimes I have to readjust how I'm sitting when I'm making these recordings so there may be a little bit of a squeak and it's not me, it's not my back it's the big black squeaky chair that I sit in I'm hoping to replace the chair with one that squeaks less <laughs> at some point I'd quite like to get a rocking chair but uh, anyway, just remember that you can readjust how you sit in or lying down whenever you choose. And one of the things about listening regularly to these recordings and to my voice is to before you even get to the point of hearing my voice, you'll already start to feel relaxed. Just the idea of pressing the play button or, you know, going to your phone or wherever the podcast is, or your tablet or your laptop. Pressing the play button, you already start to feel relaxed and tired. And it's a different kind of tired to just feeling tired. Because there's this, I suppose, uh, a thought or a feeling or a belief from some people that actually all falling asleep needs is to feel tired and that everybody anyone that is perhaps um 
sleeping. I lie in awake, wide awake. And that is the case for many people, of course. But actually, a lot of people can struggle to fall asleep, even though they are so tired. And the longer somebody goes without getting proper sleep, the more tired they will feel. Just naturally, it's a, just a standard thing. The longer you go without eating, the hungry you get. The iller that you would feel and sleep in, although the most natural thing in the world, it's as natural as farting. It's just a natural bodily function, falling asleep. But then it becomes a problem when we try and force it, because, you know, it's the old thing, never force a fart. You can't force yourself to fall asleep. You can't force yourself to feel relaxed. can't force yourself to like eating peanut butter if you don't like peanut butter or eating fish if you don't like eating fish you can change the way that you feel about the peanut butter or the fish and your taste buds may change over time just in the same way that most young children, although they're not allowed to drink beer or lager legally, if they ever get a chance to take a sip, they will. And pretty most often times will go, uh, that's disgusting. But then when they get to 17, 18, 16, 19, 20, 30, whatever, their taste buds change, and that thing that used to taste disgusting now maybe tastes okay. I think that's as far as I can ever go with lager. It tastes okay. I've never, never really found it to taste wonderful. change but you can't force yourself to like the taste you can't force yourself to fall asleep and when you stop trying to force yourself that's when things can change sometimes it can help to go the other way try and force yourself to keep awake. If you laid in bed and tried to stay awake, again, your body and your mind doesn't like that. It doesn't like to be forced to do anything. to have some kind of congruence where what we do is what we want to do. I know that's not always able, you know, we're not always able to do that stuff. Not everybody has a job or likes every part of the job they have. sit through movies maybe that we don't want to sit through for 
the sake of keeping someone else happy. <laughs> I'd say we all do that. I don't, but I have done. Sometimes the idea is actually if you fall, try and force yourself to do something, maybe try and force yourself to do the opposite to what you want. And notice what happens. And also by thinking about the things want to happen so it's not a case of I'm going to stay awake I'm going to stay awake you think to yourself oh, I'm not going to go to sleep I'm not going to go to sleep I'm not going to fall asleep deeply I'm not going to drift off and feel completely relaxed and loose This has been tested. This is a psychologically uh, sound, tested fact. You know, if you put a plank of wood and it's maybe one foot in the air on blocks, pretty much everyone could walk across it one foot in the air off the ground pretty much most people could just walk across it easily unless they've got giant feet or something but you know generally if it's a, a big enough plank of wood and it's strong and it's sturdy and you know it can take your weight One foot off the air, most people can do that really, really easily without thinking about it, without any kind of pep talk or sitting in a, a seminar for three days, getting pumped up, ready to do it. You just walk, walk across it, yeah, so what? Easy. that same six foot plank of wood up a hundred foot in the air a lot less people would believe that they could do it even though you know it could be a completely foot up inside a building with nets and you know a safety cable attached to the person so there's no way in the world that they could have any kind of injury and the percentage of people that would be able to do that firstly the percentage of people that would even attempt it Percent, but a, you know, a lot less than a hundred percent, and then the percentage that did attempt it that succeeded would also be less because people would lose balance because they didn't believe that they could do it because all they would be thinking about potentially is don't fall, don't fall, don't lose balance, don't fall. And that's all the brain hears. All the brain hears is fall. And if that person is imagining themselves falling, they're basically giving themselves a suggestion to fall. So 
So if you're in bed thinking to yourself that you don't want to stay awake, you don't want to be awake all night, it's going to be rubbish, you're going to wake up in the morning, you're going to feel tired, and you're thinking about what's going to happen tomorrow, and you're going to feel so tired all day tomorrow, you'll be snappy towards your friends, maybe your work colleagues. That's what you're imagining, even though it may be based on experience previously. But if that's what you're thinking is going to happen, that's the suggestions you're giving to yourself. That's what you're telling your unconscious mind that you want. Because your unconscious mind doesn't know the difference. All it's seeing is the images of you feeling rubbish, the images of you lying in the bed with your eyes wide open, and your mind active. That's what your unconscious mind thinks you want. And your unconscious mind wants to give you what you want. in your mind I don't want to be up all night I don't want to be awake I don't want my mind racing I don't want to feel crap in the morning when I wake up or when I have to get out of bed I don't want to feel rough all day tomorrow so you need to change the things that you say to yourself of course, this goes throughout everything in life, but we're just focusing on sleep. It's up to you what you do with this. By focusing on what you do want and saying to yourself in your mind what you do want. You want to fall asleep. You want to feel completely relaxed. Your head touches the pillow. You want your body to feel completely heavy and relaxed. And you want your mind to slow down. And you want to be able to just enjoy that feeling of relief. And just allow your mind and your body just drift to sleep naturally and that's what you want and you imagine yourself doing that before you even get into bed you imagine yourself getting into bed and lying down and the second your head touches the pillow your body relaxes completely and your mind slows down and you enjoy that feeling drifting to sleep further than that you imagine waking up in the morning or whenever it is you set your alarm or whenever it is you wake up feeling refreshed feeling positive
positive. And you imagine the day ahead feeling awake and full of energy, having great communication with your colleagues at work or your friends or family, getting on with people, being friendly, enjoying your day. Just like 